Welcome to part two of planning your style guide. In this lesson, we'll talk about creating a style guide sitemap. Before diving into creating your living style guide, the first step is planning what will be in it. Like any good website, a well-structured information architecture is the key. So let's get started by using the following set of designs for our sample app called Vintage Shop and observe the persistent elements in the UI. At this point, I recommend starting with larger groups of elements, such as the navigation, the cart, or the forms. For example, we'll separate our design into these three groups, the steps indicator, the mini cart, and the products in the cart. With these larger groups of elements, you can start going into more detail and identify the styles that persist. For example, there's a convention for the typography in general, and more specifically for the headings, the subheadings, and the links versus the regular text. The color of the buttons also persists across the pages. Putting it all together, let's write down these groups using a diagram. Taking a deeper look into these groups, you can fine-tune them and turn them into categories that you can use in your style guide as it grows. For example, elements is a very vague term that could refer to any HTML element, so a better name for this group could be components or modules. These are still broad terms, but are more specific in the nature of the types of elements that they would cover. Primary versus secondary buttons could be part of a base elements, and the color aspect could go inside of a color palette category. Additionally, you can think about a category where you can include more generic information about your style guide. A good example of that would be a guide section where you could describe how to contribute to the style guide, or a branding section where you could include guidelines about your brand that should be kept in mind when designing and implementing your app. With this in mind, here's what the diagram should look like. You can see how this diagram takes the shape of a sitemap, which is basically what you want to use as a plan when creating your living style guide. Now dive into the designs and sketch up your own sitemap, including as many categories as you think that would be useful in the future. You can get ideas from other style guides. Styleguides.io slash examples is a great resource. Once you're done, check the more comprehensive version that's linked at the end of this lesson's written tutorial and compare. Up next, we'll be installing a sample application that you can use for creating an actual living style guide.